Thank you. So welcome, Mrs. Chief Prosecutor. Thank, welcome to all the delegation uh, from uh, the EPO in, uh, in Italy for this visit to Rome. I know that uh, you have already had the chance to visit the former office uh, of uh, Judge Falcone. Here we are in another room dedicated to another judge, Judge Livatino, who as well was killed by the Mafia. And we celebrated uh, him uh, a few weeks ago. Um, I would like to introduce our talk uh, on an historical note, uh, brief historical note. But since uh, it was yesterday when we went to Palermo for uh, the memory of uh, Judge Falcone, who was killed exactly 29 years ago, we had the chance uh, to have a conversation and to review a little bit uh, his contribution uh, um, to the I Italian way in order to contrast the mafia and criminal organization. And uh, there were a number of uh, contributes that he gave uh, to our way of investigation that are worth uh, recalling uh, also in this opportunity, because in this uh, occasion, because it was, uh, he was a strong supporter of judicial cooperation, both at the national and international level. He was uh, uh, the creator, we can say, of the anti-mafia high prosecutor office and other specific uh, offices uh, that are dedicated uh, to the contrast with the, the, with the cre organ cre organized crime. But above all, uh, we had just uh, uh, had the information that uh, back in 1991, when he was working here at the Ministry, he took part in a Council of the European Community at that moment, and it was his idea not only to training a European magistrate, but also to promote uh, the criminal protection and safeguard of the financial interests of the European community at that moment was the, the name. We have a document that is the testimony of this proposal. So I think that it is really interesting that we have the opportunity to meet just today when the memory of Judge Falcone is so present for all of us. Um, reminding everybody that uh, really as uh, the, the, the phrase that you have seen probably walking on the stairs uh, that brings us uh, to this level of the ministry says uh, the ideas continue to live uh, on the, on, through other men and walk on the legs of other men. So his ideas were so uh, visionary that uh, really some of the fruits of, this, of his intuition uh, bring us today to discuss uh, in details uh, of uh, this uh, proposal uh, about uh, the, the, the starting of the European um, prosecutor that is about uh, taking place uh, at the beginning of June. So really welcome. Uh, we are talking uh, of all the practical and other stuff that are necessary to implement the EPO under the supervision and the, the, the spirit of this man that give us so much inspiration even today. So welcome Ms. Covesi and welcome Ms. Ceccare Mr. Ceccarelli and Mr. Giarone. So 